Yeah, the next question is, second question is, when to use this R glass? Okay, let us, you know, this R glass model is actually a useful and this is a reader friendly way of structuring of a report. Because the R glass format is commonly used in news writing. It is a useful method for reporting about stories that have a story with narrative aspects. So, listen carefully. It is, uh, this is, uh, this uh, R glass method is used for reporting about stories that have a story with narrative aspects or that have a greater complexity that cannot be covered in the five W's of the inverted pyramid style. We know you have already uh, studied this inverted pyramid style. This is a complex writing because it starts with climax. Uh, it gives uh, uh, answers to all the WH questions in the beginning itself. So it's, it is very difficult for an average reader to understand the story. But this is this all glass structure will be simple because it starts, uh, it begins with an introduction, a proper introduction by giving uh, you know all important details in the beginning. But still, there is a turn or twist in the middle. And the second, uh, let me show you the diagram again. Because you see, this is an inverted pyramid shape. The twist, after the twist, you can see that second, third shape, third shape is pyramid shape. So this is not an inverted pyramid. This is actually the pyramid shape. So pyramid shape means the shape itself gives you the meaning. This is in a chronological order. The second part of the story will be in chronological order. Understand? So, this is an inverted pyramid shape. This is in normal pyramid shape, ordinary pyramid shape. So, will be in order. That is, there will be a proper beginning, middle and end. There will not be any confusion. So, even an ordinary reader will understand this org glass new story. But still, why do they prefer? Why reporters prefer? That will be the next question. So, uh, inverted pyramid, we know that it's a complex structure, but still, why do reporters or writers prefer that style? The uh, point is, why do they prefer that style? The answer is, uh, to save readers time. So, if it is given in uh, this hourglass structure, you know, that will consume time. It will take uh, for an ordinary reader to read uh, the complete story and to get the uh, uh, idea or what is the new story about, it will take at least three to four minutes. Uh, so, we will never spend so much time in reading a single story. So, that's why that inverted pyramid structure is preferred. And how does this R glass work? This is the third question. How does this R glass work? That is how this is different from inverted pyramid. The R glass works in a similar way to the inverted pyramid. Okay, so this more or less same. Our glass works in a similar way to the inverted pyramid, beginning with the specifics and beginning with the specifics like, you know, when that happened, how, giving all uh, ans uh, answers to the w quest WH questions uh, and uh, most important information in the beginning, then turning to give context and a narrative aspect to the story. This is the difference actually. Beginning, the first part is called the beginning. The hourglass begins by identifying the who, what, when, where, why of the story. Then the turn, the middle portion. That is a transition from discussing what has happened to how it happened. And the third part is called the narrative. This portion of the format gives good details to the complexities of the story and gives greater context to what led to the events told in the beginning section. So, it gives a detailed explanation or answer to these WH questions. The WH, WH questions that are given in the beginning uh, gives greater context to what led to the events told in the beginning section. So, the hourglass can be divided into three parts. The top, the top is called the beginning. The th second part is turn or twist. The third one is the narrative. So, we are going to study the first one, the top or beginning. So, here you deliver, that is the reporters, they deliver the news in a summary lead. So, uh, types of leads so we will be studying. So, there is a, a type of lead called summary lead. Okay, this is similar to descriptive lead. Uh, we will uh, learn that uh, later, I will teach you. So, here you deliver the news in a summary lead.